so that it stays fresh so we'll just put it here as of now so today we'll see what else can be done with the watermelon one of the best ways you can consume watermelon is to make watermelon juice so usually if you go get watermelon juice from a juice shop outside mostly it is adulterated with water sounds ironic watermelon adulterating with water but still that's what happens so you get diluted so today we are going to do none of those, we are just going to use pure watermelon, just grind it and mix it, not even going to add sugar, so you just get the, you just get the flavor of the seeds also, which are there. Okay, let's get to it, again put it on a big old plate, so that you don't make a mess later for you to clean, we got our trusty knife, which we will use to cut the watermelon. There you go, look at this seed patterns, how it is, looks very nice, I'm going to put this aside for some time and begin cutting the melon. Basically what we are trying to do is take out all the flesh so that we can put it in a mixy or blender, however you call it. and juice it out okay so what I usually like to do is I don't like to waste I know some people who will only take the red part of the watermelon like only so much and they will leave a lot of it to go to waste I don't like doing it I will take it as close to the skin as possible so that you're left with very less. We'll use this as our trash bin as of now. Okay, so get the idea. So we've degutted the watermelon and transferred the contents of it into another bowl, surprisingly in the shape of another melon, but it's transparent though. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to select a few pieces like this, which don't have any seed and set them apart, or like very few seed. So, tell you why I'm doing this in some time. Okay. I think that should do. So now I'm going to grind this all together in a jar. This jar to be specific. So let's transfer all of these over here. Of course, I can't put everything at one shot. So I'm going to put it a little at a time. It's almost full. So let's get to blending. We've got the mixy setup. So just gonna to get to blending. This is cold to the touch. Okay. Just gonna take a peek to see if the consistency is right. I think that's pretty good. So, I'm going to repeat the same process. So now all the blending is done. So now we just have to filter it to get some of the some of the small small particles of the seed out. 
and then we are good to go. So we have to cut this filter. Look at the consistency of it. It's pretty thick. I'm just going to use this knife to. My wife might be getting mad at me since I'm using the knife here and it might poke some holes. Okay. So it's going to take a while. Okay. So finally, after a long struggle with the help of gravity as well as sheer force, we just got the juice ready. Now I'm just going to serve it and enjoy it. So I've got this fancy glass tumbler here and got this because pouring it again might become messy. So just give it a stare and look at the consistency of this. It's much thicker than what you would actually get in a shop where it is again alliterated by water, watermelon. So a few ladles of this optionally if you want to add some uh, ice cubes to this it will be good or you can serve it chilled so I think this is a good quantity so there you have it this is the juice just some garnishing with some pudina So there you go and uh, one more thing is so remember I set aside some of these so what you can do is you can drop in a few pieces of this into your juice cut it small so that it will all be inside and it will all be floating on top if you can see there it's a nice way to serve watermelon juice now i'm just going to enjoy it and get cooled see you in another video bye